Take one DIY novice who's slightly out of his depth. I didn't expect it to be that heavy. Give me an interior design expert. It's a piano. It is. <laughs> but a it piano. is. A highly skilled team of workmen and watch as shared ambitions become grand visions. Well, I think it's a cracking plan. It's a cracking plan. This time we're pulling out all the stops. The transformation won't be done in an hour, it'll be done in a day. It's 10 minutes and counting. Let's go. In the next 60 minutes, you will see emotion and commotion as we help another family surprise their loved ones with the makeover of a lifetime. Oh, my God. Watch out. Our next stop could be for you. We are here in Leafy, Hampshire to help Jo Chase surprise her sister Sam with a makeover to remember. Now, the house is just over there, but before I go knocking on the door, let's see Sam's story. <laughs> Sam and husband Jason moved into their three-bedroom house 21 years ago with their two children, Ellen and Dominic. Since then, Amelia's come along. The house is under strain, yes. It's a busy household. They're a very close family, all of them. Um, we visit two, three times a week sometimes. It was already a tight squeeze, but that didn't stop Sam giving up two of her downstairs rooms so that her mother could live with them. We needed to know that she was safe and we wanted to know that someone was there for her. So there's now six of them living into this three-bedroom house. <laughs> it's a very busy household. Sam's a keen opera singer and her husband runs the local opera society regularly hosting committee meetings in their home so the communal areas of the house are pushed to the limits. They have to fit all the committee members in for their meetings. It needs to be used as a family relaxation zone. At the moment, it really needs to be a better use of the space. Sam works at a local school helping children with learning difficulties, and Jason works long shifts as an engineer. But with all their time and money dedicated to supporting their family, decorating the house is at the bottom of their list of priorities. The lounge hasn't been decorated for somewhere between six and ten years. It needs to be a place where they can feel relaxed, not see everything and, st and stress about it. Now, usually when we do a makeover, the person we're surprising is safely tucked away for the day. And although Sam is at work, the school she works at is literally just there, which means we're going to have to be tight-lipped. Now, I'm going to go knocking on the door to try and find Joe. Let's just hope. Remember what they say, loose lips, sink ships. Let's go. Hello. Peter, how are you? Nice to meet you. You weren't used to the two, were you? No. Greeks do three, actually. Right. How <laughs> are you and where is Sis? Is she gone? She's at work. Shall I get in so that I'm out yep. of view of the come, streak? Come on in. All right, thanks. So, Jojo, where are we? This is the lounge. The lounge. Now, obviously, you guys sit here, but what else is this room used for, if anything? Well, everything. They sit and watch TV and relax. Mm -hmm. They practice their music in here. They hold committee meetings. And how often are we talking? I think they're a couple of times a month. OK, so this room is obviously very important. It's an entertaining yeah. room in a way. It is. How many people are we talking come to these committee meetings? I think it's an average of 12. In this room? Yes. Right, All okay. fighting for seating area. They have to be friends. Yes, I think you're right. <laughs> Shall we try it? Come on, come and sit with me for a sec. No, we can't. So it's more like this, isn't more, it? Yes. Yes, a bit tight like that. <laughs> Is hubby outside? Uh, yes. <laughs> right. Um, no, OK, great, great, great. Now, what, what would this mean to Sam to change? I think she feels that she'd prefer to have more seating or more room for people to sit. Okay. But then there's also the work side of things. Yeah, that's their so-called office. Um, obviously, they have to do with the newsletters and meeting notes and everything over there, so... Very important room. I can understand why it's the hub. 
uh, has has that chair been scraping against the wall for the last yes. few years? Yes, it has, uh, unfortunately. You see, all these little things that you probably... She's just accepted. I mean, she sounds like the type of person that's quite selfless, and the reason I say that is to have all these meetings and to have people constantly here yeah. and push herself in a little corner usually shows the character of the person that they're oh, more yeah. concerned about looking after everyone else than themselves. The other room I need to see is Sam's bedroom because since her mum moved in, it's the only place where she can escape the hustle and bustle of the house. So, I take it this is Sam's bedroom? It is, yes. Uh, it looks like there's a lot of stuff here in a very small space. What would you like to change in here for Sam? She needs a place to completely switch off and relax. Right, OK, so it needs to be a bit of a haven for her. It then. does, it does. Yeah. She's only got the one wardrobe for all her clothes. Okay. So, uh, and yeah, I mean, they've got the airing cupboard in here as well, which okay. takes a lot of room. All right, OK. I've probably, the first thing I noticed was that clock on the wall that doesn't work. So <laughs> it, it's sort of like time has stood still in here. It's like it's, everything's yeah. just stopped. Has anything been changed in here in 20 years? Only colour of the paint on the walls. What do you think she would like? I know that she loves Greece. Now you're talking <laughs> my language. Yeah. If I gave her something Greek in the bedroom... Oh, well, she'd never come out. You know, I think <laughs> this would be very nice. Yeah. Notice the TV's there, so she obviously loves watching TV. She does, yeah. Right, this room needs some love and attention. It does. And it does need storage. I mean, there's bits of storage, but it really needs some proper sort of thought-out storage. It does, yeah. Now, listen, I want you to meet our designer, so... Okay, do Are you up for this? I'd love to. After you, let's go meet them. Thank you. So upstairs, we need to create a haven where Sam can escape. Downstairs, her living room needs to work as a multifunctional room with an office, family area, and extended entertaining space. Luckily, I know just the perfect lady for this transformation. Cardiff-based Leia Hughes teaches and specializes in 3D design. She's passionate about practical design solutions, but also being experimental and playful. Let's see if she can put a smile on Joe's face today. Leia. Hello. Leia, Joe, Joe, Leia. Hi. Now, what happened? <laughs> I've been putting some stuff together, so I've got fluff all over my leggings. So I'm defluffing. It's okay. not part of the makeover. It's just a part of getting. <laughs> well, she's yeah. She's she's defluffing. She's making over herself before yes. she makes over the house. <laughs> Guys, can you wait here for a second? Right, team, we'd like you to meet Joe. Joe, we'd like you to meet team. Hi, team. Hey, 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 Joe. Team, are you ready? Yes! Shall we get started? Yes! Well, what are we waiting for? Let's do it. Sam's due back later this afternoon, which means we need to work fast. First things first, we need to get the old stuff out and I'm getting stuck in removing some old speakers. Just cut the seat, please, mate. Where's a handyman when you need one? Ah, mate, listen. <laughs> I don't know, you just can't get the staff these days. Mike. Mike. Oh, the crutch. Mike. You had enough. Please, bro, I oh, can't cope. <laughs> I think I'll stick with presenting. Helping to pack the place up is Sam's husband, Jason, who's also in on the surprise. Right, Jason, Jason, Jason. Yep. Jason! Hi, mate. Oh, Hi mate, there. you shouldn't be carrying that. Let me carry it. Oh, thanks. How you going, mate? Yeah, good, thank you. Now, Sam's out of the way. She is, yeah. It's not really ideal, is it? Because she's only around the corner. How are we going to keep this away from her? It's going to be tricky, because she's on a school outing today, in a park over the way. So she's literally just over the other side of those okay. houses. If she, by any chance, sees all this kerfuffle going on, she won't expect it's anything to do with her. Absolutely not. It will be a total disaster if Sam and her class walk this way, but luckily we've hidden all our stuff behind our two removal vans. That should fall her. Upstairs, the clear-out is well underway and the work has started on some new fitted wardrobes. Downstairs, I've been lumbered with a piano. Uh, so it's got wheels. I didn't expect it to be that heavy. It's not that heavy. It wasn't heavy at all. Right. In fact... 
I don't think I'll find any backing singers amongst this lot. Let's get back to work, guys. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here down south in Hampshire to help Jo Chase surprise her sister Sam with a magical makeover. Now, Sam is working at the school, which is just over there, which means she's close by. That means we've got to keep tight-lipped, not talking to any strangers, not talking to any neighbours. No-one has to know what's going on. Sam's home is bursting at the seams. The lounge is used as a family room, an office and a place to host committee meetings for the local opera society. The other rooms downstairs are dedicated to her mother, which means Sam's only retreat is her run-down bedroom. Luckily, though, we're here to change all that. We need to go in, find Leia, find out what she's done, where we're up to, maybe even find Joe and have a chat. Come on. All right, Stu. Ladies, how are ya? Oh, look at you all getting ready to get stuck in. <laughs> yep. Leia, what is going on in this room? Obviously, it's been gutted. Yeah. So, so what is going on? The room is empty. We're ready to start papering and painting. But to talk about the layout, now we're going to keep the same layout because actually the layout was very functional. And there's so many different things happening in the room. We've, we're using it as a lounge, so a relaxing space. It's a workspace. We had the desk here before. We're going to keep that here. Okay. So that's two functions. Then we've got the society, the opera society coming, so it needs to be a sociable and plenty of seating. So that was the main brief, really, to maximise the seating space. And keeping this floor plan was the perfect solution. Now, look, Leia, I'm not questioning your work. But I think he is. See, Go that's on. like saying to someone, <laughs> as a it. friend, I, yeah, basically, this is my what... Defensive face. Yeah, no, but you have a point. I just want to ask a question that I think other people would want to know and maybe you'd want to know. Is what you're going to do be a big enough of a difference? What we're going to do is sort of judge it up, Divide the zones so they're clearly more dis defined. So the seating space, you know, is much more welcoming. And they're going to do that with a nice, rich colour. And then we're going to have the piano then. We're going to give it a bit more space so that it looks like a piano area. Nice. It dominates that sort of grand, you know, the piano's beautiful. So we're going to yeah. keep that in. We're going to do a bit of upcycling. We're going to make the fireplace more of a fresh look. All right, love, don't get too defensive. It was only a quick <laughs> yeah, question. Well, you don't need to give know, me the whole... You challenged me. I, I mean, she was there. hardcore. How do you feel about it, Joe? Because obviously, you, you know, this is all new to you. I'm looking forward to it. I mean, it sounds really good. <laughs> she's scared of me now, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, well, she's not the only one. Right, next stop, Sam's bedroom. OK, well, bed's gone, that carpet's gone. Yep. After all those years. Uh, this is still here, but it's, it looks different, completely different. New, new storage solution. Ah. So we've got rid of the freestanding one and we're building in a fitted unit. Lovely. And the idea with this is we've got the boiler cupboard here, so we're going to build it out a bit, new doors, and then we're going to maximise this sort of storage space here. So it's going to look much more minimalist. Are you OK with this? She needs space. So you're happy with it? Yes, it's good. Right, so we're going to keep the layout, so the bed onto this wall. We're going to make this a feature wall. Ooh. So, getting the feature like walls it. in. And also, um, because she uses this space to sort of watch DVDs and relax in, yeah. um, we're going to go to town on that by going for the special bed with the sort of built-in TV oh, in it. Oh, I want one of those. Oh, lovely. Yeah, handy. And again, because space is small, it's perfect because it's all quite compact and quite tight. Yeah. Now, obviously, on this side, there was a, all, like, loads of jewellery and stuff here. What's going to happen here? And there was another... There, there was a sort of storage -y place here. What's going on here? Right then, so we're going to um, create something bespoke. We're going to get Stuart's to create sort of a nice cabinet to hang all the jewellery and the sort of perfumes, etc, and house them away. So again, trying to keep this minimal look so your eye is drawn directly on this feature wall instead of sort of, not that I want to say clutter, <laughs> but bits and bobs that are hanging around in the room. Clutter. <laughs> With work well underway, it's time to find out Leia's design inspiration for Sam's lounge and bedroom. She's taken into consideration her favourite things and put together a mood board to give Joe and me a feel for the look she's going for. 
Oh, very wow. Nice. Yeah, yeah. We've got two different concepts. In the lounge, we've got a very spring fresh feel, very vibrant, yet zesty sort of greens coming through and a bit of hot pink to give a bit of um, colour. You like it? I like it a lot. What do you like the most about it? I like the, the brightness of the limes and the pinks. They look really good together. They complement each other, don't they? they? Do. And then the print then is a very relaxed meadow feel rather than kind of quite sort of um, intense kind of flowers. It's kind of relaxed, a bit more country cottagey, if you like. And with their love for music and the operas and the committee members that come here, I thought I had to sort of play on that. So there's going to be sort of um, drawing on inspiration from musical themed things, a, a few accents going into the the room. Sometimes people are scared of using colour, but if you blend it through the room, it actually creates a more a relaxed feeling. Talking about colour, the idea and the inspiration behind the colour for the bedroom is um, the little picture they did have in the lounge, which was the picture of Santorini in oh, Greece. Yes. And it's quite special to them, is it? They love Greece, absolutely love Greece. Oh, fantastic. So we've got, you know, this sort of um, plaster kind of fresco kind of look going on onto the wallpaper quite romantic kind of flowers, blooms, and then we've got the blue and white. And that's kind of the colour scheme and then a nautical stripe then with a bit of yellow just to lift the colour palette up a bit. Sounds really lovely. I love it. And she, my sister Sam, is going to absolutely love it too. Phew! <laughs> that's a relief. Sam loves Leia's design ideas. My concern is how we're going to get all of that done in five hours. But I'm not here to question the designer, I just follow orders. And first stop is to help Stu create a bespoke vanity cupboard where Sam can store all her girly bits. Stu. Hey, Pete, how you doing? I'm good, my friend. Leia's told me to come down and see you. Obviously, I wanted to see you anyway. But she told me to come down and see you because there's something to do with jewellery box, something, I don't know. Yeah, th sh she was on about storage in the bedroom. So yes. It's, it's part jewellery box and it's part storage. I mean, these holes here are for hairbrushes. She, we're going to get it all painted up. Oh. Wallpaper at the back. And she's got some hooks we're going to put in there. They're going to hang the bracelets, earrings, rings, etc. I'm hooked. Um, there you go, a door on the front. The guy's going to paint it and then we can put it up later on. But while you're here, and don't yes. rush off, could yes. you do me a favour? Could yes. you start sanding it down while I get on this you end? You trust me with this? Absolutely, Pete. Well, what do you do? Well, I mean... We'll just knock that on there. Yeah. yeah. And they call this work. I know a girl that would really enjoy this. Her name's Sandy. It's the way you tell them. So as Stu and I get all creative outside, Leia's roped in mosaic artist Will to help bring the old fireplace to life. Now, Joe, don't panic. We've taken the mantle um, away from the fireplace, but the idea is to sort of create a big feature from the fireplace. Okay. So we're going to upcycle it or revamp it, give it a new look. Right. Um, we're going to put paint, paint this around white, Ooh, keep lovely. it nice and fresh. Yeah. And then we've got a cracking plan. Well, I think it's a cracking plan. It's a cracking plan. Absolutely. <laughs> we're going to cover the granite with some mosaics. Okay. And we're going to pick sort of patterns and colours in the fabrics that I'm using right. um, and create sort of a bit of a mosaic mural. Oh, lovely. Okay. Yeah, what I've done is Leah gave me the design there. So what I've done is I've taken the design and the colours and I've tried to match them as close as possible so that we can tie the mosaic to the designs. So there'll be things in the room that will actually match up with the mosaic that we've done. Sounds lovely. Well, I've never heard of a mosaic fireplace before. So while it's all hands on deck to get the room prepped for painting, Leia's gonna give me a sneaky peek at some of the furniture she's chosen for the rooms. That colour's beautiful. The purple, I love it. Yeah. Where is that gonna go? Well, do you know what it is? Well, that looks like a sofa to me. Uh, oh, uh, right, the three-piece, the two-piece, got it. That's it, it is the sofa. But we've got a lot of stuff. We've got there the throw and the cushions to coordinate. Is that that nautical stripe thing you were talking that about? That is the nautical stripe. OK. I like the music pillow, the piano. So, this is going in the lounge. You didn't get that, did you? What? Piano. Piano. It's a piano pillow. It's a piano. <laughs> it is. But it piano. is. Yes, so that, that's lovely to pick on sort of their love for music and stuff, and that'll be in the lounge to go with a piano that's going in one of the alcoves. Fantastic. So I've got two footstools going in. These are custom made, and so that's going to help with accommodating the... The committee, um, yeah. yeah. 
And I've got a few sort of custom-made bespoke artwork to go on the walls. Um, this piece here is made from vintage papers, so musical Excellent. papers, from a company called Antana Tesoro. Nice, very Which, nice. Do you know what that means? Uh, no idea. Italian for um, vintage treasure. I love that. Do they make espressos? It's a joke. I love all these little pieces too, nice little touches. I mean, you've done great. I just, you know, I'm one of these people that sometimes can't see it until it's finished. I, I, I have faith. Colour confidence. Yes. Absolutely. Um, but the main thing is for Jo to have faith for her sister. So uh, I think she's going to be impressed because even when she saw the mood board, she was blown away. If I'm being completely honest, I'm not sure I've got my head around Leia's designs, but things are certainly happening. Will's put the finishing touches to the mosaic and it's ready to transform the fireplace. And the walls are looking good with Leia's stylish colour scheme. Now the makeover is shaping up nicely. There's someone I've been waiting to meet. Hello, guys. Hello. OK, you must be Mum. Why do I say so? Because <laughs> you're gorgeous. Well, of course. How are you? I'm fine. It's nice to see yeah. you. Um, we haven't met, have we? Oh, in fact, I didn't even ask your name. Pat. Pat. <laughs> nice to see you, Pat. Pete. Pete. As if I didn't. Pete, know. Pat. Pete, Pat. Pete, Pat. <laughs> The makeover is racing ahead, so I'm shifting things up to fifth gear with the first ever 60-minute makeover roadster. Come on, let's have a go. I didn't mean let go. Ah! Today, we're in Hampshire to help Joe Chase surprise her sister Sam with a makeover of a lifetime. Sam's busy household is under strain. She and husband Jason have three children, and four years ago she took in her mum, who occupies two of the downstairs rooms. The lounge now has to function as an office and family room, as well as hosting regular committee meetings. The only place Sam can get away from it all is in her tired old bedroom. But that's all about to change. G'day, g'day, g'day. How are you? Now, oh, wow. There's a lot going on. Joe, is it an oh yeah or is it an oh sort It's a of... wow. It's a bit of a it's wow, isn't it? It's definitely a wow. Try saying that backwards. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's amazing. It is. It's all coming together now. So we've got all the paintwork is finished. We've got the wallpaper up, the tiles. We're nearly there with them. The drapes are coming up, dressing the window. You know, so um, what do you think? It looks fabulous. I can't wait. I really can't wait for everything to see. It's all done to see the finished product. What do you think? Right. What uh, stands out to you the most in here? The fireplace. Yeah, the it fireplace is. The fireplace and the pink of the curtains. They just jump out at you. So the lounge is shaping up nicely, but there's no time for standing about. We're back in the way. Yeah, yeah, all right. Well, layers, layers. Working hard. Layers definitely uh, getting everyone working hard. Absolutely. Like Anything well, in here you're not sure about? No, I love it all. I Brilliant. really do. There's one thing I'm not sure about. Us staying in here. Let's okay, go. Let's go. The hard graft doesn't stop in the lounge. Top of the range fitted wardrobes are going in upstairs whilst Joe, Jason, and I are being put to work outside. Well, I saw we had photos scattered everywhere in the room in nice frames, and I thought it'd be a bit nicer to tie the scheme together to create one sort of focus point. Mm -hmm. So we've got a mixture of frames here. We've got some bespoke ones with a vintage um, detail to it and some shop-bought ones. And I've got a collection of images here, sort of special ones, hopefully. Oh, um, so simply, if you can put them into the frames, and you'll have a bit of a treat going through them. So this is Sam? That's a Sam, yes. OK. And Sam and... It's Ellen, who's the oldest, and Dominic. Yes. Ellen, who's now... She's, she's now pregnant. Who have we got here? That's Ellen, um, Dominic and my late father. So we've got the simple task of putting photos in frames. I think even I can manage that. And whilst I've got Jason and Joe to myself, it seems like a good time to find out more about Sam. She's a very emotional person. She wears a heart on her sleeve. She will go well out of her way to help other people out. I know that she works as a teacher. Is it children with learning difficulties that she looks after? Or... Special needs. It's kids in normal to everyday schools. Right. Um, but it's just those that find it harder to learn. So I, sometimes you'll get kids with dyslexia and things like that. So oh. she, she's able to sit down with them and take more time with them. 
Now that in itself, it takes a good person to do that and a patient person at that. So now mum lives here, yes? Yes. Now? So what, what, how did that come about? Um, my mum and dad unfortunately split up um, about 10, 12 years ago. Okay. Uh, mum was living in the house that me and my sister both, both grew up in. She'd always lived there and uh, both me and my sister felt it was too much for her because she wanted to retire and yeah. she couldn't, couldn't really afford to live there on her own. We thought it was easier for her to be near and close to family so we know if she needed anybody, they were there. Is it fair to say that you guys, Jason, um, are supporting your mum financially or mother-in-law for you? Uh, we do in many ways. We, by her moving in with us, it, her, it saved her on, on all the monthly bills. Um, yeah, it's, she's, she's a lot happier. She hasn't got the financial worries of when she, when she had the house and paying the bills. What's clear from our chat is that Sam's always thinking about everyone else, so I can't wait to see her reaction when she sees what Joe's done for her. Um, what did I say about this being a simple task? I've, I've done a mistake with this, because that's how I've done it. <laughs> ah. Now Leia's keen to play on Sam's love for music and she's got an idea for the perfect crescendo. Local artist Amanda McCran is working on a bespoke musical mosaic. The design I'm going to be working on today has got to have a musical theme. So we're going to be working on um, two treble clef uh, symbols joined together so it gives us a sort of love heart effect. Amanda sketches out her design on a piece of wood and then chooses her tiles. I'm probably going to go with this pale blue colour and a contrasting white. She breaks up the tiles and puts the outline of the design in first. When I'm placing them, I always have to make sure that I leave a small gap in between each tile as well. That's so important when you're making a mosaic because you need those gaps for the grout to settle into. Now she can build the mosaic up using the pieces like a jigsaw puzzle. We're almost there now, just working on some small pieces and um, fill those into the mosaic and then we're ready for grouting. This is the stage where you really got to know when to stop. You could go on forever looking for small gaps. Now all the tiles are on the design, she can mix up her grout to finish the piece off. Big blob of grout. This is the messy process. Not my favourite part of the job, to be honest with you, but it's a really important part of the job. And then it's just very lightly sponging off the excess grout from the top of the mosaic. How does the saying go? If mosaic be the food of love, play on. Music, mosaic, excited. They're the three words I can say. Yes, we've got a music-inspired um, piece here by Amanda McCann. Oh. It looks, it looks kind of Aboriginal, which oh, is yeah. really strange. Oh, I love it. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, very nice, very nice. You know what? It's better than I thought it was going to be. It's lovely, isn't it? Well, the style, the graphic style, is quite different to the style of the mosaic that's going in the fireplace. It is, yes. Um, and just the fact that there's only two colours used here is really nice, so you've got a nice bit of contrast going on. The triple clefts, which also form a heart. Can you see the heart? Oh, very nice. And, of course, oh, it's going with the blue and white theme, which, of course, are the Greek colours. Um, did you know that... There's a saying in one song, in a song by Stevie Wonder, it's very true, and it says, music is a world within itself with a language we all understand. And the reason I'm bringing it up is because I'm saying, see, I love all music-themed things because music is the one thing that unites everybody. I'm getting a bit deep, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. Back to more practical matters. No, the boys aren't setting up a salon in the garden. They're trying to get the bespoke cupboard dry, leaving Leia to focus on accessories, more music-inspired art. So I'd asked you to give me a clip, and, um, and this is it here, called Sweet and Low. Could, could you tell me a bit about that? It was our love of music that brought Sam and myself together, because we, we met in the in our practice site in 88, and ever since then, we'd, we'd always... It's been our, our desire to sing on stage together, and it was, this, this was the, the song we did when we both got the parts in the show Utopia. And should we have a play? Yep. Oh, 
Lovely. Well, well, I'm so glad I've got that clip and that I've really been able to do something with it. Absolutely amazing. And would you yeah. like to see what that oh, is? I'd love to, yeah. Yes, yeah. OK, then. Right. And that's oh, it. Oh, wow. So Beautiful. what they've done is they've changed the sort of sound waves in the song and they've overlaid it on top of each other to create this piece of art. And then um, we've put the date there and the name of it as well. You've got a constant reminder. She's going to adore that. It's that means so much to us, that song does. Is it? Yeah. Well, I'm glad. Really lovely. It's <laughs> lovely, isn't it? That's amazing. Have you got a tear? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you are romantic. <laughs> oh, it was, it was just a dream come true. Is it to perform? To, to perform with my wife, yeah. And, and she has the most amazing voice and just the confidence she gave me to be on stage with her and it's just look into her eyes. And even the critics said that the, the love interest was, it was just so evident and it was because it was easy. I think Leia's hit the right note there. Talking of which, we better get the piano back in the lounge. That is, that, I find that really heavy. It's not for you guys? Nah. Well, no, I'm not. I'm just saying it. I suppose I may as well go back to doing what I do best. Guys, question for you. Yeah. When you go to the toilet, can you pee a yes? Pee a yes? No, but you can pee a no. Ugh. Today we're in Hampshire to help Joe Chase surprise her sister Sam with a magical makeover. Now, although Sam's just around the corner working, so far so good, uh, I think we're getting away with it. She has no idea what's going on. Now, Sam's bedroom and living room are looking fab, but there's still a lot to do and we're nowhere near finished and she's due home in minutes. Leia! Leia, Leia, Leia! Or anybody. Steve, how are we getting on, buddy? Uh, Would you drop that down for a Yeah, we'll there, yeah. Well, that does not sound convincing, Steve. Yeah, we're there, man. Well, well, that doesn't even sound... Two minutes, man. Two minutes. You said, <laughs> you said two minutes five minutes ago, Turkish. <laughs> yep, it doesn't look very ready to me. There's still more furniture to come in and we're still working on the fireplace. Will, how's it going, mate? We're done, apart from the grouting. That's going to that's gonna have to dry off for a bit. We'll How long will it take to dry? A couple of hours, realistically, unless I can get the, uh, the hair dryer on it. So a couple of hours? It's going to take a while to get the glue properly dry. Ah, uh, so to to right. Down a bit. A Sorry, up a bit. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Hair dries it is. <laughs> And I've still got one important job. There's so much to do in such little time. So I'm going to leave them yeah. on the They might know. But the people that live here won't know until they see the show, I hope. So here goes my thumbprint. We're going to do my signature. <laughs> Once a great up, they're never, ever going to see that. Come up for a second, please. Hey, look. Oh, a shell. Great. We've look snailed it. We've snailed it. Well, we're nearly Listen. done. Oh, this looks fantabla mundo. Oh, check lovely. this out. Have a movie night. We've got work to do. Come on, right. We need to put this Can on Can I just here. check this out? Right, we need two more pillows, the stripy pillows like this. I've seen them in a pack somewhere. Leia, yeah. just quickly, can I oh, show them when they come in? Can I show them this? Yeah, I think we're going to have to, aren't we? Because it's a bit of a va 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 Shall I stop now? Yeah, stop. Yeah, OK. Right. right. Hold that there. Yep. And then, can you hold that there? You're on equal spacing, yeah? Um, yeah. Oh, no, it's good. So... Ah, uh, she's having a bubble, isn't she? Just standing here. You're having a proper bubble, bubble isn't you? Oh, hey. Where's all of them? How many of these were there? She's cracking that whip again, so I'm going to head outside to join the welcoming party. And, and how are you feeling, Joe? Because it's been a long day for you guys and a lot of building up to this. It's been great fun today. And I'm just a little bit nervous at the moment for just her yeah. arrival back, so... Where's Jason? He's going, he's he's going to, to meet her. her. He's going to get her. Exactly. <laughs> Is that the car? Yes. Is that the car? Right. Do you reckon she has any clue? Look, she's got a hand on her mouth. She's got a hand on her mouth. How are you? Are you okay? Yeah. Do you have any idea what's going on? No. Look at Nan. If it's all right with hubby, can I hold her hand? <laughs> Come and see your family and everything will be explained in a minute. <laughs> Do 
your whole family have been amazing. Your sister wanted to do something for you because she feels you've done so much for people. <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> and she wanted to give something back to you. And I hope you can accept it because I understand that you don't really think that things should be done for you and it's about time maybe you should accept it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I think at some point we need to tell her what we've done. Do you have any idea? No. <laughs> okay. Sam, if you don't mind coming with me and your sister, Joe and Jason. Where's Jason? Jason behind you. All right, if the three of us can just go to the door, everything will be explained to you. You'll okay. see it for yourself, please. Okay. Follow us. This morning, the lounge was dull and dated and the space struggled to meet the needs of Sam and her family. Now it's been revamped and revitalised. Double doors separated from the kitchen, meaning there are more defined spaces for all the family. We've maximised the office space, turning the desk around and building more shelf space. And to accommodate all their friends, family and committee members, we've added larger sofas and multi-purpose footstools. The floral mosaic makes the fireplace a striking focal point and ties in the bright colour scheme so the room feels stylish and fresh. Oh my God! Oh my God! This is not my house! <laughs> this, this is just stunning! Oh. I never got you to do wallpaper. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's... Oh my God, that is just beautiful. I want to introduce someone to you who's responsible for the design of this and she can explain everything to you, okay? okay? Uh, I want to introduce to you, you guys have met her. Yep. She's lovely. Uh, Leia, ladies and gentlemen. Here she is. Where is she? Oh, wow. Do you like it? Oh, it's stunning. It's, it's just beautiful. Wow. It, it looks huge. It's just colourful and it's everything that I love but never have the money or the time to do. It's just... It's just... I can't believe it. It's, I can't believe you've done this. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> Leia came in here this morning and straight away she just knew what she needed to do. So, Leia, do you want to talk Sam through? Yes, absolutely. So we've created a focal point. We've upcycled, if you like, or um, dressed the fireplace with some new sort of mosaic art and um, bespoke sort of depicting sort of the colours and the patterns in the curtains there. So they're dress curtains to give a bit more of a wow factor to the window. And then we've got the Venetian blinds there. And then we've sort of, because of your love for music and the opera, we've got a bit of sort of a musical accents going on there. A bit more of a multifunctional space. We've got more seating going in. We've got a bigger sofa there, so the society can sort of sit in comfort. Yeah. And then we've got the office there. We've just sort of... Um, a bit more storage space. Yeah, it's amazing. You neglected that area because you weren't concerned about you. Uh, and I said the same to you, Jason. It was like the area that was so important for you guys, your work side of it, you, you left because you were more concerned about everyone else being happy. So that's a really important place for you. Uh, and your, your committee meetings, hopefully you'll oh, be... Oh, they're going to be so much more comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is completely the shock of you. With space, it just looks massive in here. I don't know why, it just looks huge. I have heard through the grapevine that you're an incredible vocalist. Incredible, in fact, is the word that your Absolutely. husband said to me today. Uh, how long have you been singing for? Um, I joined the Operatic Society when I was 16, and that's where we met. And uh, we've been there ever since, so... Have you ever sung a cappella before? You kind of know where I'm getting at, I'm <laughs> sure. Uh, I'd love to hear you sing. I've been wanting, waiting all day, haven't I? Yep. I'm not going to put the pressure on you, but if you want to or together, I, I, personally, I'm sure everyone in this room and everyone watching this would love to hear you sing, don't you think? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Is that putting on pressure? Um, Even just two lines. That's... Um... so much. <laughs> you are amazing. I didn't want to put you on the spot like that. You I, did, I did. <laughs> Oh, well, back to interiors. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. And the second room is still to come. 
but I might have another little surprise for you. Do you want to follow me? And you'll see. Oh my God. <laughs> Time had stood still in Sam's bedroom and it looked tired and run down. But now it feels like a completely different place. We've given her extra storage in the stylish top-of-the-range fitted wardrobes and created a bespoke cupboard where Sam can keep all her knickknacks. Contemporary fabrics and vibrant artwork all help brighten up the room. Leia's incorporated Sam's love of music and given the whole room the look and feel of a stylish boutique hotel the perfect place for her to escape from the hustle and bustle of the rest of the house. Oh my God. <laughs> I got dress face. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know what. This is just. This is just beautiful. <laughs> the whole room's been inspired by a picture of one of the holidays that you had Greece. in Greece. Yeah. So the, the blue and the white yeah. um, of the buildings in Santorini. Um, and then I've sort of, you know, we've gone for the floral kind of yeah. look, but then we've combined it then with a bit more of a masculine, the sort of the nautical stripe then to go That's through. That's gorgeous. Um, then we've created this and it's to hold all your toiletries. So Joe, you have to come and see this. Have you seen it? No. Joe, the coolest thing ever in the world oh, oh, wow. is the hairbrush holder. I mean, <laughs> I told you, oh, you love it. You're tall, so I, yes. you're useless to me. There's something just behind this wall as well. If you just look there, it's there. a bespoke piece of art that's made especially for you, um, and it's got the treble clefts that also sort of mimic a heart shape out of a mosaic. So an artisan has made that specially. Also, we've got another piece of art which is on the wall here. The artwork is created from the sound waves of you singing that song that you'd sang together. It's amazing. Isn't That's it? very clever. Yeah, I love that. Go on, go on. Peter's dying to tell you something. <clears throat> Just lie down. No, well, sit down for a sec. Sit down. <laughs> Don't tell me that. <laughs> sit down. Oh. Nice. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Oh my God. Oh, what's that? Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, should I watch a DVD? I probably should, shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> that is my absolute is favourite amazing. thing in the world. How many years do I love those? <laughs> you want your room to be a place that you can't wait to get up to, uh, and that's why I think Leia wanted to make it, you know, just, just a haven for you. So tell us what your thoughts are, Sam. It's really overwhelming. I, I don't know what to say, it's just stunning. I can't thank you enough. And my sister and Jason, it's just, it's just unbelievable, it really is. So. Is there anything you want to say to Sis? I mean, you know, you, you were the one that instigated this whole thing. I'm just so glad we, we didn't let the uh, secret out. <laughs> <laughs> no, you definitely didn't. Thank you, from my heart. You know this is going to call for a big group hug. Do you mind? No, no. <laughs> Come on, all of us together. <laughs> OK. Now Sam's friends and family are outside dying to know how we've got on, so I think it's time we put them out of their misery. It's amazing, it's just, oh my God. You know, first of all, Sam's voice was amazing. Uh, it's so nice to see her come back and react like that and be so overwhelmed by what her sister did for her. Seeing the reaction, I think, says it all from her family, from her friends. Once again, what can I say? It has been one hell of a makeover. It's been two weeks since Sam was surprised with her life-changing makeover, and we've come back to see just how she's getting on. I was a bit astonished when everyone was here on the day. Um, I thought some major calamity or emergency had happened up the street because I, I just didn't have a clue anything was going on. And I came up in the car and there was just people everywhere and it just shocked the hell out of me. I like the very calming colours mixed with the brights that um, Leia used. It's just something that I don't think I would have naturally done. The lounge is definitely multi-purpose. There is space for everyone to get on with their own 
ideas of what they want to do. I have more seating space for the family and committee meetings. We used to watch TV in bed quite a lot but now we watch TV in bed every night and we take it in terms of who's going to make it come up and down out of the bed. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought in a million years this could happen to me, no. it's. I thought it happened to lucky people and I never considered myself to be that lucky.